Hey guys, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. This one followed to my last video, multiplying powers by dividing powers. All right, so I don't know why I make weird voices this Saturday night, so I'm living large here. All right, uh, dividing power. So let me give you an example. A power is, you know, something to a number. So let's say I had two to the ten, and I was dividing it by something that has the same base, two to the five. So all I would do in a situation like this is subtract the exponent. So I would rewrite it as one base, and I would go 10, subtract 5, which is actually 2 to the 5. So let me show you why that works. So let me say if I had 3 to the 5 divided by 3 to the 2. So I could write that out in a sort of expanded form. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, all divided by... 3 times 3. So now, if I really want it to, I could cancel it. Since I have a 3 on top and 3 on bottom, I can cancel, 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 cancel. And you can see what I get left with. I get left with three threes. So that would be the same as 3 to the 3. So what I'm doing when I'm subtracting my exponents when I divide powers with the same base is I'm jumping this step right here. I jump the step to get 3 to the 3. So let me show you again how this works. So I get... Um, 3 to the 10 divided by 3 to the 2. So 10 subtract 2 is 8, and that equals 3 to the 8. Very simply, isn't it? Well, very simple, isn't it? Let me try another one. x to the 20 divided by x to the negative 10. So this is where you got to kind of be careful when you have a negative exponent, especially in the bottom. So that's going to be 20 subtract negative 10, so that becomes x to the 30. All right, guys, this is a short video, but I hope it helps you figure out dividing powers and you use this skill somewhere in, uh, you know, bed mass, things like that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in class.